Interesting. Mm, the festival hasn't started. Let's take a quick break. Oh, okay. I'm. Watch, I'm gonna fall asleep and miss everything. Hi, we meet again. Yes! I'm ready. I'm ready for you, Firefly. Who's that? It's really you! I knew I didn't get the wrong person. You saw me? You mistook me someone else for me? You saw me? I want to say other things, but okay, you saw me. Yes, it's just I didn't get the chance to say hello. There's still some time before the Charmony Festival starts. Do you want to chat? Uh, girl, no. I want to get on a, a ship and take you out on a date somewhere else where it's not we're not surrounded by stuffy ass uh, people and continue our tour around Golden Hour. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. You walk and talk with Firefly, stopping in your tracks when when more comes into view. Two murder cases, a showdown with the IPC's ambassadors, the legacy of the Nameless, and a remnant of the Order who wishes to replace an eon-created paradise with a dream. You guys even ended up shattering the dream. <laughs> it's truly been quite a vacation. Yeah, that's not a vacation. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're shooting the shit right now, chat. Okay. It's a good thing that you guys managed to overcome all those difficult problems. Congratulations! After the Charmony Festival's opening, will you guys be leaving again? I don't know where the, our next de destination will be. I'm not sure if we'll be able to depart smoothly. I think I'm gonna go for the second one. Like, I feel like it's too good to be true to just leave. I'm not sure if we'll be able to depart smoothly. <laughs> there will always be somewhere. After all, you guys are on the path of the trailblaze. Before joining the Stellaron Hunters, Elio told me that this journey will tell me how to live on. That's all he said. As for the rest, it's up to me to find out. You can live on by letting me pull you and having you join my team. <laughs> this should have her the Robin theme play. But then again, I feel like there's, there's better places for us to talk alone. So, I'll pay extra attention to any leads that will let me live on. <laughs> this trip to Pentagoni is no different. Aw. No wonder you're interested in investigating the Watchmaker. Yes. Sadly, I was looking in the wrong place. But I did reap some rewards. Did you reap the reward you were looking for? Do you know Miss Jade from the IPC Strategic Investment Department? Bonage Hate Exchange belongs to her. She told me her price, but... Don't take the deal. Those IPC people may have ulterior motives. Yeah, I, I would know. say that. But what she wanted wasn't my answer either. Of course, I want to live on. But... What fate owes me... I want it paid back, not passed on. No one else should be involved because this is a grudge between me and fate. Where is my option to hug her? Speaking of which, actually, I feel that I still owe you a formal apology for... Okay, yeah, I was just gonna hug her that right matter now. <laughs> ...with the performer of the Iris family. Even the smallest of lies can turn into a betrayal as sharp as a blade. Oh. I'm sorry. She's she's apologizing for pretending to be a performer. You shouldn't have lied to me in the beginning. No problem, you already apologized. I never felt hurt by this. It's true. Even if she had like a little scheme going on, it's not like she ever did anything to me. I never felt hurt by this. Really? Then it seems what Kafka taught me was correct. Yeah. Look where we're at now. I feel like you more than made up for it. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. It's that my girl. Hand. Get moving! 
Arrest that criminal before the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony starts. Ah, oh, you bitches. Come on, we're trying to talk. I can't believe they've chased me this far. Looks like we have to say our goodbyes. Nope, no, no, nope, no, nope. I'm going with you. Go and enjoy the ceremony. Or, or, or we'll just beat them up and throw them off the ship. <laughs> Until the, no, one ha no one has to know. Your cover's not blown. The script hasn't reached its end yet. We will meet again. <sighs> God damn it. I'm just going to let her go again. I hope she's okay. But if it's only those two hounds again, she'll probably be fine. Yeah. It's just two... It's just two people. You are... You are part of Glamoth's army. Iron... What was it? The Iron Fleet? No, that's Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> the Iron Cavalry. I'll send a message later to check in on her. Let's go attend the Charmony Festival first. Oh, of course, yeah, because uh, I'm so invested in this festival. Ah, oh, you stupid bloodhound family pieces of shit. Interrupting my what could have been a date. Find a seat and wait for the open. Okay. Let's take a seat here. What am I going to view? I'm by the pool. Everything is settled. But there's still some time left. Maybe I should take a walk? Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Forget it. I've done enough walking around already. Let's take a seat and rest for a while. I feel I, I feel like there's nothing else to check. <gasps> Firefly text me. She has my number. It's me, Firefly. I got it all handled. Don't worry, I didn't do anything rash. I've hidden myself away. It's a pity I won't be able to see Miss Miss Robin perform. Oh, she left a little cute emoji. I wanna be able to respond! God damn it! Looks like I don't have to worry about her. Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Sometime later. Oh, I thought people were dying. Hey, hey, Miss Robin! Hey, Miss hey, Robin! Over here, Miss Robin! 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 Marry me! Lord to the valley. And Robin, her of uh, the concert experience. Distinguished guests, <laughs> fellow family members, ladies, gentlemen, and friends from all over the cosmos. Oh, is this the last we're gonna see of Robin? Are we are we tying up all the loose ends with her? It's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penacony family's five major lineages. And on behalf of myself, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. This is the Charmony Festival. <laughs> As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, the celebration is unprecedented in scale, with factions from across the cosmos in attendance. This is all of them. <laughs> Damn, they really played out the Charmy Festival. This seems like such a downer. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penacony Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. Oh boy, Miss Santa Claus. What makes this festival so uniquely significant? As is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream, sparking widespread discussion in the 12 hours. Thanks to the hard work of Penacony's internal and external factions, we've finally gotten the dreamscape back on track, just in time for the Charmony Festival. And as they say, good things come in pairs. The Charmony Festival not only celebrates this achievement, but also marks the relaunch of the Radiant Feldspar. And finally, the last reason. Does everyone remember the Watchmaker? In truth, 
The family has poured their efforts into this festival, just to commemorate this legendary luminary. The father of Penacony, Mikhail Char Legwork, one of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penacony. Hey, we got name dropped. In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivities, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape, in exchange for what is now known as the Paradise of Harmony. It can be said that Penacony's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the Watchmaker planted within us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a broader audience. Okay. Very cool. Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. Yes, yes, she is, March. We, <laughs> we haven't even been mentioned yet. Our trailblazing spirit is unparalleled. Express crew would have been disbanded long ago if it weren't for you. Ha! <laughs> I'll say something cheeky. Obviously! Wait, why does that seem so ominous? Oh, you dumb girl. <laughs> and now, the sweet dream is back on track. All thanks to the Trailblaze, of course. If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. I feel like we're about to get hit by some terrorist attack right now. It seems like all too good to be true. Thus, with unanimous consent from the five major lineages, Penacony's family, on behalf of all family members throughout the cosmos, offer a token of appreciation to the nameless. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a big one! <laughs> I take cash. We will transfer ownership of the Radiant Feldspar to the Astral Express. What? A meager appreciation that we hope you will accept with grace. Look what you did, March. It is a big one. What are we going to do with the ship that's inside the dream? <laughs> can we fly this shit out of the dreamscape and into space? I'm pretty sure we can't. But then again, we are... Potentially 5% owner of Penacony. Let us gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless nameless. Let's hear it. Nameless! 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 Where's the rest of us? Where's Don Hong, Welt, and Himiko? And now, I propose a toast. Oh my god. I feel like she's gonna get sniped. <laughs> to Harmony. To the trailblaze. To the future of Penacony and the universe. And to the generous Alfalfa family head, Mr. O.T. Alfalfa. It feels kind of weird to thank him. Cheers! Yay! Cheers! Cheers, chat! Cheers! <gasps> Cutscene! Oh no, someone's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> to make a decision like that. This little bird is no less capable than her brother. <laughs> all's well, all's well. Right. But have you forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten minutes to find it. Better hurry. I f***ing knew it! this get shoved into my hands? And thus, Nani? <laughs> right? And thus, Sparkle comes back into the story as a terrorist. I was just enjoying that cutscene. Oh no! Now it's like a bomb diffusion. <laughs> nice, nice on the sound alerts, by the way. <laughs> There's still so many bombs. Now is not the time for plot twists. I can't handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. Look at this smug cheek, chibi version of her. It's Among Us. 
One 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 one. Report the issue, situation about the bomb. What the hell? We got a problem, friends. There's an imaginary neutron bomb on this ship. Keep reporting about the bomb. Oh, that's me talking. It's all thanks to that mass fool. From where? Oh my gosh! What is she, Silver Wolf? She just g goes into our group chat. Kick her! Kick her! Miss Sparkle will explain the situation personally. Oh my gosh. And I was gonna pull for you because actually she's a really good unit. How'd you get into this group? Cliche thing to say. I'm gonna say turning yourself in, huh? Darsha, time for us to teach you a lesson. <laughs> okay, that wasn't what I was gonna say, but alright. Sure, they come through the internet and try and catch me. Alright, down to business. From where to view the fireworks? Is everyone flabbergasted yet? Where where Miss Sparkle's buttons all confiscated already? Why is the bomb timer still active? Oh my god, let me What the hell? Is this a group chat with everyone? <laughs> Actually, all credit goes to the brave our brave hounds, thanks to their meticulous efforts in gathering the buttons. Miss Sparkle has was able to press all of them one by one. Miss Sparkle certainly worked her finger to the bone, pressing through a whopping 100,000 buttons we spent a whole 48 system hours on. Dot dot dot. What the fr what the fridge is wrong with you? Do not be crass, my silver cowboy. I want to be dot 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 because the other two did dot dot dot. I don't even know, uh, Sparkle. She knocked me out one time. You're appreciating his, rec his received, of course. It's still down. Oh my god. Robin's in the chat too! I'm oh, sorry. I'm gonna wait till everything's done because I'm not- I'm able to read that fast. Uh, oh, Topaz is here. Alright. So is adventuring. This is- this group chat is for literally everyone. God damn it. Alright, backed up here. Your appreciation is received, of course. It was still down to Miss Sparkle's luck. I don't know why, but there were a total of 16,537 esteemed dream chasers who volunteered to help Mistress Sparkle bear the, her burden. Girls who like to smile are always the ones with decent luck. Anyway, the bomb Miss Sparkle places on the on the cruise ship is hidden among 999 dolls. You bright-eyed people will surely find where the real bomb is hidden. Good luck. She left the chat. How many? Don't panic. We'll deal with this together. Everyone, please don't make any commotion to cause unnecessary panic. I'll arrange for the family members to prep for evac. But we'll still have to rely on you all to find and defuse the bomb. The Oak family has always relied on the strength of the Order to guarantee everyone death never occurs in a dream. But the blessing of the Order is now lost. Its consequences may be unimagin unimaginably detrimental. Oh my god. So the Order was the reason why people didn't die in the dream? Interesting. If anyone finds anything, please update the group promptly. The beauty is duty bound. IPC will land our A2. Don't worry, everyone. Want to bet who will survive this? Adventuring. <laughs> Dr. Rachel leaves. Let's go! Okay. All set. Let's start following the plan. What's the plan? The plan was just to look around. Oh, it's... You finally arrived, oh great gray haired little one. I'm the constable around these parts. And right now, I'm posing as a bomb. Okay, I'm wasting time listening to it. You're not... You're not very good at character design, are you? Bombs? Great haired little one. So am I great or am I little? <laughs> Bombs are playable characters now. Fine. I'm now the bomb demon then. Satisfied? If not, you'll just have to make do. All right. Now that you've found me, it's my turn to complete my mission. Next, a countdown from five, and then explode. All right. Throw it off the ship. Five, four, one. Where's three? Did, Did I, I miss, miss a number? number? Oh, so it is. No matter though, I've never learned how to count before. I mean, Bomb Demon Doll has never learned how to count. I'm not even a real bomb! Was it surprising? Shocking? Horrifying? No? Really? Fine. That's too bad then. You really haven't learned how to win a girl over. The bomb's gonna go off anyway with everyone evacuated, and there goes the ship that we just received for free. This constable doll finally falls silent. You open it up, more like tear it apart, though the sound, that sounds cruel. And uncover its true nature, a mere toy equipped with a remote speaker. Alright, so that wasn't the bomb. I thought we had 10 minutes. Oh wait, Black Swan is in this chat. Those 
There's progress with the bomb situation. I got good news and bad news. Which one do you want first? You're here too? <laughs> Simply put, I found I found 131 bombs that aren't real bombs. Wow, Masterful really knows how to pull a stunt. Don't worry, Proce process of elimination also a problem is also a problem-solving tactic. The evacuation of the family is underway. The bloodhounds are hot on the investigative trail. Keep it up, everyone. At least I made some progress. Got to keep working at it. Yeah, she said 10 minutes. Come on, come on, chop chop. This charming festival sucks. This firmer doll is a Sparkle look-alike. Okay. According to the book, compilation of Sparkle developed vocabulary in modern and contemporary times, the term Fulmer, fir firmer was first coined in 2005 AE on the Sparkle planet and Sparkle star system. Its original meaning is fluffy. Nowadays, the inhabitants of Sparkle, Sparkle planet often use firmer, especially to refer to plush dolls. In other words, firmer doll translates to fluffy doll 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 doll. It may sound peculiar, but considering its sparkle origin, it actually makes a lot of sense. A firmer doll is staring right at you. Stare back. A firmer doll continues to stare right at you. Continue to stare back. Firmer doll's eyes never blink. Honestly, if they did, it would be quite unsettling. Anyway, it's just an ordinary plush doll. Can you ex really expect it to utter a single word? If you don't speak, then silence equates to consent. Keep staring at it. It must be pointed out that the doll has no suspicious features at all. It exudes from within an aura befitting of a firmer doll, not that of an imaginary neutron bomb. Which means there is no need to bother it anymore. It makes both you and the doll appear rather pitiful. It's best to promptly put an end to this farce. <laughs> they put more dialogue in that, but not more dialogue with Firefly? Come on! Bag gum wubba boo, I give up. What's wrong, Silver Cowboy? This guy is totally gay for Boot Hill. And for Argenti. I found 217 talking dolls. <laughs> it takes a picture. It's kind of funny to think someone like Boot Hill would take a picture on his phone and send it, you know? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> what the heck is this? And that's after I got help from the hounds that and that man with, pla with plaster head. Who knows when we'll find them all if we looked for them ourselves. That's a shame. Oh, Welter. Knowing that fool's habits, I'm afraid we're going to have to keep uh, filtering through the wrong answers. Don't fret. The beauty will guide us. Okay. Ha! We meet again. I am Tenacone's fame detective. Oh, you're not. Got yourself into a pickle? I'm more than happy to help. But unfortunately, I'm preoccupied with a couple of unsolved cases. So, you'll have to wait your turn. This is very elaborate. Is this gonna be a serious thing? Or is this filler? <laughs> I just need that bomb in your hand. You're telling me your case is related to the bomb? I need your help finding a bomb. I just need the bomb in your hands. Right. It completely slipped my mind. Dr. Boom specializes in explosives. Oh my god. I need your help, mister. You've had quite a few run-ins with Dr. Boom. And with the recent bomb situation, you're bound to find evidence that proves Dr. Boom is the killer. The first case is the Soulblad Factory Arson case. We found a hammer, a doll, and half a liter of unidentified fluid at the scene of the crime. Our forensic results show this a red herring. The second case is the Blue Hour Auction Robbery. A gang of masked thugs broke in, stole a fragment of the Astral Express, and left behind a large hammer, a doll, and a half-dead red herring at the scene. Sorry, my head cannon of all of this is that the the player base called out Hoyoverse for having Sparkle bring in all these buttons and having it like not be relevant to the story. And so now in response to all the criticism about this element and what if it could have been just a red herring, they're like, fine then, we're gonna shove a whole sequence that has to do with the bomb at the very end. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get. Those are all the details. The way I see it, there must be a link between these two cases that will be the key to exposing Dr. Balloon. I trust in your deduction. Which piece of evidence do you think is the deciding one? It's you, you're, bo you're at both crime scenes. Your mind is 
pretty sharp. Great, so they made it more complicated. <laughs> right? Seeing as you've put in so much effort, I'll throw you a bone. The bone's not here. This is only a prank I've craftily set up. Hurry, time's running out. You better find that real bone quickly. I'm pretty sure 10 minutes have elapsed by now. We're already dead. Sparkle's voice faded, leaving behind the doll's body buzzing with white noise. It seems this pitiful doll was transformed into a megaphone by Sparkle. Alright. What is this music? My friends, I bring saddening news. Tell us about it. This trial of beauty is especially dangerous. I found 145 adorable dolls, but thought they were the fool's bomb. Is this really not a trial of elation or something? No matter... No matter what, please be patient, everyone. I have a feeling that as long as our virtuous patience can persuade Adrilla to, with sincere conviction, even the most difficult of problems will be so resolved. Mr. Argenti is right. Everyone, don't let your guard down. <laughs> Here we go. Spinning his words. Right now, we found 496 out of 99, according to the mission thing. There it is. I hear beeping. You can call me the director doll. I often use this name in film credits. Damn. <laughs> this is so silly, this whole sequence. If you didn't know, I'm the one who directed the entire farce in Penacone. As the leading man of the show, what did you think? Feel free to share your thoughts. Well, actually, due to the current plot requirements, you're only allowed to say one line. So please try and resist the urge to share your thoughts. Right now, I just want to defuse a bomb and advance the plot. You're you're the one who made this. You made Sunday a villain. What about the action scene where Acheron had escaped, had to escape the family? What happened to Robin's journey of uncovering the truth? Yeah, way too many storyline transitions. <laughs> I'm gonna say the last one. <sighs> it's all my fault for being duped by the masked fools. This screenplay was written by someone named Miss Sparkle. She said she graduated from Sparkle University's film directing and screenwriting program, so we instantly hit it off. Who knew that there was no such thing as the film directing and screenwriting program at Sparkle University? In fact, Sparkle University isn't even real! No! <laughs> Sparkle! Since you're done asking questions and I'm done answering, according to the script, I must reveal to you the fact that there's no bomb here at all, thus causing you to want to kick yourself for spending this whole time listening to me prattling on, after which we will part ways. But don't fret! I've also prepared a gift for you. A dream bubble that has the thrilling life and death moments I shared with the beautiful memo keeper. Oh. If you haven't seen it yet, you should hurry up and look for Dr. Edward. Wait, this is this a real thing? A harmless chatterbox plush doll bows affectionately to you, blowing you a kiss before bounding away, vanishing into the depths of the cabin with joyful loops. Alright, there's one left. The IPC Special Investigations team is wrapping up here. We found a total of 329 dolls with no bomb. Thought I'd update this with you guys. Even even you guys can't do anything about it? Holy forking shirt balls. This is going to be a killer. Don't give up. We're close to 999. The express crew is also about to be done. Keep up the good work, everyone. I'll be ta I'll be taking over the evac team now. Good luck, everyone. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I should... You're a bomb? So you're the origami bird now? Can't you tell? I'm the origami doll, tweet. Oh, I almost skipped through this. There are 998 more dolls that can pack a punch just like me on the radiant feldspar, tweet. Please call them back to the golden sparkle tree. I will prepare a worthy gift for your troubles, tweet. As for that imaginary neutron bomb you want, uh, don't interrupt me. I know you never mentioned those three words to me before. <clears throat> well, the bomb isn't here, tweet. I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere for it. The peculiar doll flicks his tiny ponytail and vanishes into the sky of the dreamscape. A sight much more thrilling than an origami bird. As for the golden sparkle tree, forget about it. Most likely just some random balderdash that Sparkle made up. Good news, we found the remaining 172 dolls here, but they're also just dolls. What's going on? That girl ain't pulling a fast one on us? Long time no see. Look at that sticker. 
It's from uh, The Shining. Miss Sparkle is delighted that everyone is busying themselves over her. And so she had me deliver a message. I knew it. I knew this matter wouldn't be so simple. You've grown some brain cells, gray hair. Miss Sparkle is pleased. All right, enough jokes. Miss Sparkle says this message is super important, so listen up. All right, uh, actually a thousand jokes. To reward everyone's efforts, Miss Sparkle has decided to be magnanimous. She will give the coordinates of the final doll with the bomb to everyone. The time I've allotted to everyone far exceeds 10 minutes. <laughs> True. But let's all try to hurry up. Okay, eh, something major is going down if you're if you're slowpoke. At Robin, I'm sure you don't want everyone to know that the family's protection over Pentacone has been rendered useless. Do, do you? Uh, hurry up and move out, world saving heroes. Everyone, don't miss don't be misdirected by her appalling prank. We'll gather at the coordinates. When we catch her, we'll definitely teach her a lesson she won't soon forget. Oh, look at her mad march. Not much time left. I hope I make it. What did the ship ever do to you, Sparkle? Now it's playing ominous music. Is that Firefly? Oh shit, the doll's in the middle of the water. 28 minutes 46 seconds. 28 minutes 45 seconds. Uh, you're here! Sparkle, eat my bat! <laughs> Sparkle, eat my bat! Don't come close! This bomb is very dangerous! And I'm the real Firefly! <laughs> Since you're here, I'll just keep it short. Just over half an hour ago, I received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as I could. 27 minutes, 52 seconds. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. It's just counting down, and it's plenty of time. The sweet dream has lost the protection of the order. If it were to blow up here, the consequences would be unfathomable. I've scrutinized it for a long time, but the bomb's design is incredibly unique. As if it's been locked by some mysterious path force. Apart from its creator, I fear no one knows how to deactivate it. Sampo Kotsky, I feel like, is a fool. Maybe he can help. Then we'll just have to find that person. Don't panic, there's still many people on their way. Mommy, I don't want to die. Then we'll just have to find that person. It's difficult. Time is running out, and she's a master of disguise. And even if we catch her, she won't come quietly. Don't panic, there's still many people on their way. You mean the watchmaker's guests? That's a pity. Based on my experience, I don't think any of them can turn the tide on this situation. The memo keeper may be able to teleport the bomb to a deserted location, but... I, I have found a note inside the doll. This is a memetic virus.exe. Wow, okay. Memetic, warning, a memetic virus was planted into this imaginary neutron bomb. Memetic life forms, particularly memo keepers, especially black swan, are advised to stay clear. Otherwise, exposed individuals face a 72.36 chance of turning into a banana. She means, yes, she means, because it's true. Try it if you dare. Holy shit. I don't know what grudges they have, but this path is a dead end, too. So that's it. There's no other way. Actually, there might be another way. Oh my gosh, she's gonna sacrifice herself. Listen to this music. She's totally gonna take it and fly away or some something crazy. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death three times in the land of dreams. No, Firefly! I didn't have enough good scenes with you! I think this moment heralds the third time. Like I said earlier, now's not the time for plot twists. You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter's special method in order to enter dreams instead. This allows me to perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. That's a lot of fancy words, girl. It still feels like a prank. 
Like, it's crazy that, like, this is the serious solution to a bomb that's planted by Sparkle. And if Sparkle's the reason why we don't get to be with Firefly, that makes Sparkle the true villain of Penacony. And for what? What's the motivation? I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape. As deep as possible, where there are no living souls around. That way, at least no one will get hurt. What about you? Don't worry. I believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. And maybe even make it back safely. Oh. Father, why? I, I don't like I don't like this story choice. This is such a letdown for this to be the third way she dies. There's so many other ways that could have been far more epic or sacrificial, but this is just some bomb planted by by a prankster. That's so dumb. Why? At present, this is our best and most logical course of action. After all, a long story deserves a happy ending. The happy ending is with you, Firefly. I have some words to share with you. Though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron. She said that the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. At the moment, there are so many things that seem impossible. But are they really never going to happen? Maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet. Whether it be a literal ending, suffering akin to death, or a harrowing deathscape. Deathscape? Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make Mary had choices. I also firmly believe that that when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. Ugh. Oh, man. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny. That sounds like a line you would say when you do your ultimate. The Astral Express and the Stellaron Hunters are like light and shadow. We walk on different paths, intertwined, moving forward and growing together. Maybe the end is predestined, but it is not today. Things are going too well. Let's speed up the countdown. Human life is short, just like fireflies to a flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember, don't leave with any regrets. We have this right. about other people's safety. What? Why don't you go take a closer look? <laughs> you see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. We each came here with our own goals and realized them in unimaginable ways. What? Regardless if the result was a sweet illusion, or a bitter reality. It was an answer we longed for, day and night. So, why do people choose to slumber? I think it's as you said. Because in the end, we will wake up from our dreams. Oh, is this a fireworks show? Oh, one last shot of Acheron. She's still around. <laughs>